get storms like this. That usually means the Sierra gets a solid round of snow. This weekend is no different. This is what it would look like a couple hours ago on 50 and 80. However, the snowpack is still not where it typically should be for this time of the year. Max Darrell joins us from the newsroom with more. While many of us may feel like all of the rain we've had recently has been somewhat of an inconvenience, the storms are proving to be beneficial for California's largest natural reservoir, the snowpack. When it comes to snowfall in the Sierra, February has been good to California. A beautiful day. Just ask nice Andrew day Schwartz, who's the lead scientist here at the UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab in Soda Springs. Well, since the beginning of this month, we've we've come up quite a bit. We've come up about 25% uh, in our statewide snowfall. And so that's looking very promising. We caught up with him after atmospheric river number one of the weekend and a little bit before the second one rolled in when it looked like this on Sunday afternoon in Tahoe. Schwartz says the first storm brought about seven and a half inches of dense, wet new snow. Is that the good kind? Uh, it depends on uh, it depends on what you're trying to do uh, for skiing. You you know you want that lighter, fluffier powder, but uh, for for our water resources, you know that dense, heavy, wet snow is always a good thing. But that was just the warm up round, as the second atmospheric river is supposed to hit harder and linger longer. We're expecting plenty of that heavy snowfall, high winds over the next several days. It was a slow start to the year up here. The first snow survey at Phillips Station produced underwhelming results. The snowpack was at 25% of average. The second survey showed modest improvement, with the snowpack coming in at about 58% of average. A few weeks ahead of the third survey, Schwartz says... Now we're at 76%, so we've made up a lot of ground over the last month and a half. The snowpack is faring better, but still needs to improve. We're really hoping to make up that additional last 25 points or so soon. Now, it could be over the next couple days. It just depends on how this storm pans out. The snow will build on this, a solid base from the previous storm. Schwartz is cautiously optimistic the snowpack will continue to improve over the next four to six weeks, and he hopes it will be exactly where it should be come the April 1st snow survey.